decided to do my research paper as well as my presentation on self-esteem. The reason why I chose this topic is because it's something I can personally relate to and I'm sure a lot of people can personally relate to it as well. And if you personally have never had a self-esteem issue, I'm 100% sure you are aware of someone. So I'm just going to talk about the reason why self-esteem can become an issue. For example, social media and um, even toxic relationships. And I just want to also talk about a few different ways how we can improve our self-esteem. So I hope you guys enjoy. So what is self-esteem? Self-esteem is described as overall sense, value, and love that a person has for themselves. And when I think of self-esteem, as many of you probably have as well, I think about self-love. And that's why I included it in uh, the three questions that I have on the right bottom corner. Um, those three questions, in my personal opinion, I feel like are questions that you can say are used in a way to quote unquote measure how much a person loves themselves. You know, a lot of people think that uh, a high self esteem is loving yourself. And although it's true, um, you know, people might say, well, I do love myself. I do. I really do. I love everything about me. But it's not just saying that you love yourself, um, you know. It's, it's more than that. It's taking care of your body. It's taking care of your physical, emotional, and mental health. You know, for example, question number two, are you really happy with how you look? And, you know, we all have those bad days where we wake up and we just don't like the new haircut that they gave us or the way the top looks on us that day or the way, you know, just our makeup comes out or the way the hat makes our hair look weird, you know, and that's normal. It's to, it's okay to have those days. But if you're constantly neglecting yourself and hating everything that you see about yourself, that's when there's an issue, you know, that's where... That's where your low self-esteem can grab onto and just say, okay, well, I look bad today and that's it. So the third question is, you know, do you know your worth and do you allow anyone else to jeopardize it? And even though there is no number to measure your worth, knowing how much you are worth can help you step away from situations that jeopardize your personal self-esteem. For example, like we'll talk about in the next slides, what can affect self-esteem? A big thing that can affect self-esteem is negative and toxic relationships. And we all know what that is. We all have gone through that. If not personally, we have seen people that we love go, go through those toxic relationships where it's between two people that just genuinely don't respect each other. And there's always one person that undermines the other. And there are many ways that a toxic relationship can affect your self-esteem. You know, in general, a toxic relationship negatively impacts your mental and physical health, as well as your emotional. And one of the biggest ways is making you feel insecure and bad about yourself. And that is what self-esteem is. You know, if you have a low self-esteem, you automatically feel bad about yourself. And when you're in a toxic relationship... That just leaves you feeling drained and unhappy about yourself. You start to change who you are because the other person is not happy with who you are. So you start to hate the person you are. You don't like who you are. You change. And for that, it just, when you change, it makes you feel like you're the problem. You're the issue. You're the one at fault. And that leaves your self-esteem at the bottom and you just forget how much you are worth and like I said knowing how much you are worth is not a number it's just knowing when to step away because it's affecting the person that you are personally another thing that definitely affects self-esteem is social media and the internet we are fascinated by social media every single day there's something new there's a new application there's a new social media platform that we are just so intrigued by it and although it has helped us in so many ways, it has helped us communicate with those that we love, it is definitely a negative impact on how we view ourselves and how much it has altered the image of what we 
see and what we love about ourselves. There are so many ways that social media has affected self-esteem. And although it has had a greater impact in girls, we have also seen it in young boys. But, you know, for example, we we post a picture on our social media and we only get five likes. But those beautiful young models, those attractive young men get 5,000 likes in a matter of seconds. And a lot of people... A lot of people are really in love and fascinated with the idea that the more likes you like is how beautiful you are. You know, you look at a picture of a celebrity and you're like, oh my God, I don't have that small waist. I don't have that long hair. I don't have those colored eyes. Or the guys, they be like, I don't have the six pack. I don't look like that. And it just really, really affects the way young women, you know, see themselves and it's very unfortunate to see that as young as the age of 10 both young boys and girls are experiencing self-esteem issues because of what they see on their social media platforms but you know there's so many good things about social media but we really have to see that no one is perfect that a lot of the people that we love and see on social media is most of it is Photoshop, but most of it is not truly how they are seen in real life. And finally, although improving self-esteem is a difficult task, it is very rewarding seeing how much you have fought to be where you are and to know how much you have grown and learned to love yourself regardless of how you look, how you feel, how others perceive you how others think of you because at the end of the day having a self-esteem having a high self-esteem makes you who you are and there's so many ways to improving your self-esteem but the top three that i personally enjoy is using positive self-affirmations you know saying i will have a good day today i will look great in this dress i love how i look today complimenting yourself do things that you enjoy you know buy those shoes that you've always wanted you know, because you know you're going to look good in them. And just like everything, remember that no one is perfect. We are all fighting different battles. We are all different. And that is what makes us perfect and unique. And that w- that is why we are all different. Because no one is like ourselves. And we have to remember that.